Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh and in today's lecture I will teach you how you can pass function as argument with or without parameter, that's a separate thing, using C-sharp. Now the goal of this uh, lecture is like you may have seen like we have a, a certain places where we have to write function like this or we have to give a function name here which will do the task like in the like task factory to start a new process you need to give this anonymous type of function where you can do anything right now here I just did a like thread dot slip but you can write anything like downloading a picture or something like that so the thing is in this uh, you can say class there is static method start new and in this we are passing an anonymous method so this is what our goal is like how we can have the same thing in our uh, own class now there are two type of method arguments one is action type and second are function now action types are uh, they will never return a value they are like an event so event never return a value but function can or like you may or may not return the value depending upon how you are writing it now the syntax for this is is like exactly the same you have to give the action you can as a keyword and then you have to mention the uh, number of arguments you want to pass you can maximum pass 16 arguments or if you are exceeding that you can use list or something like that and th in the function also the same way the func f u n c is the keyword and then the 16 argument you can pass now the syntax for this is like basically it, it has a one dependency it need one method to execute now I will explain you with this example in this uh, task factory has a static method names uh, this start new and we are passing a method to execute like as a new process so what this start new is doing is it is executing this method so the dependency method is this start new this is one responsible for executing this anonymous method so same way we need it in our class so in our class I have used as execute method name like instead of start new it is execute method and it has you can say one function also as an argument and second action as an argument and these are the parameter which are required to be passed to the you can say to the function uh, or function or action we are calling okay now let me just jump into an example now in this example I will just first show you what is the what class we are using now it's a simple class in this uh, let me just zoom out a little bit yeah so I have three properties first name full name la uh, last name and full name and then I have this execute method so the thing is there is nothing concrete I am you can say building into this uh, project I am just showing you how we can make this uh, method so uh, the logic is very simple what I am doing within the function but it, it depends upon you how you want to do it so basically why these are used is like suppose you uh, we have a concept of interfaces like we give the interfaces to the people to write the uh, you can say methods and all in some places you want it like they should write their own anonymous method and pass it for you can say implementation and all or you want to have some events related to your custom control so instead of delegates you can you can say provide these kind of things also because uh, lambda are like expressions are like anonymous methods are like now easy to understand and build so Th uh, because of that only like we require this so in this example we are doing simple task only like joining first name last name or converting them to uppercase but using these methods okay so now I'll like, explain you as I told you we need one you can say caller dependency method which will be calling uh, executing our anonymous method second in this there are argument like first argument is like the uh, whether it is a function or an action and this is the name given to it so action is like small uh, you can say I make it to small like a lowercase because if I make it upper it becomes a keyword so instead it has to be lower and then we have a object so in this action what I am doing is this action I will pass the the second argument which is coming to me okay so this is how the anonymous method is called so same way it goes for function also now in function you have to understand as I told you it may or may not return a value okay so the main best part of about function is the thing is if you are mentioning one argument it will be return type if you are mentioning two arguments so one will be the input and second will be the return type here in this case one will be the input and second will be the return type okay so if you see here I have mentioned two string but while passing while calling this function I am also in passing one argument here there are three arguments I am passing only two arguments so the last argument is representing which type will be returned uh, by end of the function okay so in the same way like in execute this as four arguments so I am passing three arguments and fourth one is a return type 
getting my point so it's very simple also now here we are passing like string argument as well you can say array so here we can also pass you can say object what we uh, like uh, like which we are calling so like suppose uh, you assign some certain properties and you have a task like you need to post this to a web application and then get the result and then save into the like third field and all so that web service may differ from person to person so instead of like giving uh, giving you a concrete methods and all i will say write your anonymous method and let it execute so in that you have to assign the values to these properties and pass the same object to the same function so in that case you can pass it like this okay now coming to the example okay now this was the arc class so as i showed you i just created one simple you can say object and assign first name and last name let me just remove this task factory we don't need it now here first what i am doing is i am passing see now uh, see this is the function there are two arguments just remember there are two arguments one is this object which i am passing and second is this method now here you see it is not returning any value so it is an action okay now for the action if we remember we have one action method name action and second is reference object so the reference object of class type only like the class which we are using so what i am doing is i am saying x now x represent automatically the reference type okay so the reference type is like class object so x will have all the properties what a class is having like let me just show you x dot so whatever the class is having the property so those will come so automatically sql server uh, this uh, you can say our dot net detects which method we are talking about so let me just show you if i go like this so here you see execution execute method is having six you can say uh, different methods like you can say polymorphism is used so all are having like with four arguments three argument and all so those kind of thing so here in the first one we are using the first one which is action method where we are passing action as no return is returned so what we are doing is first name and last name we input it and in this method i am asking like to sleep for 20 se uh, uh, two second and then set the you can full name equal to first name space last name okay the simple one so let us just uh, run the example and see how our code works it may take a while okay now it's up so now here you can see so last name is there so if i go into the you can say full name of my object it is null right now there is no sign okay so if i go f10 wait for two second and it passed now here i executed the method now if i go for full name now it is combined so here you can see i can do the task on the same object which i am calling so i am using the method of same object and passing the same object and doing something with the anonymous method so this is my task so here i will just empty my string as well so let it uh, be for the next example now here if you see now here i am passing two uh, you can say arguments now as i told you two arguments what does it mean is into this like now the function is if it is passing a two argument so which method it will call it will call the three uh, this one where the three argument we have specified because one is return type you remember so here what we are doing is uh, wait a second yeah so here what we are doing is as the return type will be string i am saying object dot full name equal to now here i am calling the method so what i am doing is i am passing two parameters now those two parameters are x and y now x and y are these parameters first parameter x second one. so here i change the value to integer so it will become the second parameter will be integer it will expect it okay so the values which i am passing is i am creating a new string array and passing first name and last name okay so here you need to pass the arguments so here what will again it will do it will execute this combine them and give the full name okay so let us execute it again so till this point we have already seen now here if you see the full name will be empty if i press f10 so now the value is yogesh.mela so now the thing is this method got executed the two argument were passed it combined and return a string value so this is how you can have a function as a pa parameter anonymous function as a parameter which will return some value okay so basically always remember like function should have a return and action should not have a return so whenever there is no return use actions okay now there is a concept one argument we are passing
now one argument means we are calling this method one argument and second is return type okay so here what we are doing is we are passing x and converting into the uppercase so we are and then so here i have made a simple logic like if last name is string dot empty the name should be uppercase like the first name should be uppercase into the full name so that's what we are doing and it's having the same concept like passing the same array i'm whatever i'm doing okay okay now coming to the next one now here you can see i am passing three arguments so which method it will call again it will call this method like where four arguments we have specified so three are the arguments string type and fourth is you can say return type and here we are calling the function so the function will have the anonymous method it will get called automatically so here what we are doing is we are converting x into uppercase y into uppercase and z into uppercase so forget it like <laughs> here what i am doing is first name last name and combining them to uppercase so doing a silly task only but the thing is this is how we can pass and you can say method with an argument as an argument itself okay now the last one example is here in this one i am passing i am telling the return type will be string but the input type will be an object of uh, basically reference of class object okay and here i am passing which object to be coming and here i am calling the function and passing this object okay so here in anonymous method i will say x uh, is my return uh, basically x is my you can say uh, one input because one input is only going and return full name dot uppercase and passing the object so r you can say dot net automatically detects like what uh, which method to call and all i hope this example would have uh, like made you clear about how you can pass action and function as an argument if you have any question you can contact me through my email id phone number or any uh, uh, we like in the Skype also I am also available so if you need this code also please put your email ID in the comment I will mail you the code otherwise you can follow one link in the description where you will have this class code there okay have a good day bye bye